is Esmeralda Gonzalez Monero. I am a senior and I have participated in track and field, soccer, and basketball. Hi, my name is Jennifer. I am a senior at School of Astoria and the sports I do is track, row, and soccer. I started off doing track since freshman year and I've been doing it for the past four years. I've seen how I've mentally and physically have grown in the sport. Mentally, I've been able to overcome a lot of obstacles. Obviously, at first, it's very difficult to motivate yourself and push yourself to run and reach certain goals because you want to be the best in what you do. And once you don't reach that, it could be very easy to give up but that's that mental push that you always have to battle with, that mental challenge to always keep going. Being in a new sort of environment, like, um, it's very, very, like, isolating to sort of, like, be thrown into a completely new thing, and then people are, have new expectations of you, um, they have new things that you have to learn and be good at within, like, a certain amount of time, and, um, like, it's very just, it's a lot. Um, a challenge like a, uh, was mostly like the mental barrier of whether or not I could like actually do it and if I could actually do it uh, good because sometimes there, you see people that are better than you at something or you see people that have done it for longer and it like makes you doubt yourself but as long as you do what you can do and as best as you can do it it's what matters. And now that I'm a senior I've seen how mentally I've grown now when I face a challenge, I, I don't think, okay, I should just give up. I think this is going to help me improve and I'm going to push myself to do better. And that's also for any other sport, but that's my personal experience from being a part of track and field. Um, I think my favorite part about it is um, like the people, like the people that are there and it's a it's a very it's like one of the most team sport sort of team sports that there is because in order to get the boat moving everyone has to be completely in sync with each other and if you're not then um, like you're gonna completely mess up you're not gonna be doing anything right so like you need to be really connected with the people that you're rowing with um, and I think getting to know new people and like other people's experiences and just like making lots of friends is Part of why I just love it so much. Being a part of a sport builds community. We're not only friends with people in our own grade, there's people on the team that are freshmen, that are mm -hmm. sophomores and that are juniors. And when we were freshmen, they were the upperclassmen, oh, yeah. sophomores, juniors, and seniors. I love the, the girls that I'm working with right now, track, soccer, they've all been with us, they've seen the struggles, we all go through the same problems, we all go through it together. No, like life gets in the way, but I, knowing that they're gonna be there and putting the track <laughs> of their priorities, like, it makes me so happy, it makes me so, I don't know, I get like, so like comforted by that. What That's advice would you give your freshman self? What advice would you give Yeah, what advice? Definitely take more risks, specifically in like the sports you're doing. I feel like, I should have definitely taken more risk and for example joined the soccer team or done a different sport. I was just like self-conscious and scared it's like oh what if I can't do it or you know what if there's people better than me and other teams like I, I don't want to be playing and it's just that negative mentality that I wish I didn't have from the beginning because it obviously stopped me from doing things both inside the classroom and outside in sports so just being more positive. That's what I would tell my freshman self. Once you face a failure, don't give up. Try again. Yeah. And like, if that doesn't work out, try again and again until you reach it, you've made it, and you've accomplished it. Be confident in yourself. Yeah. You have to, because that also shows when you're outperforming doing sports. If you have the mentality that I know what I'm doing and I can do this, your performance in sports, whether that be soccer, whether that be basketball, track, or whatever sport you're doing, you're going to reflect that on the court. You're going to reflect that on the field. So you just have to be proud of yourself, be confident in yourself, 
and yes it's hard sometimes because even I have my days where I don't feel confident in myself or I feel like I'm not doing the best as I can but just pushing yourself and not being negative I feel like that really helps you also when doing sports we were 14 14 now we're 18 I'm 17, 17 still. <laughs> and we are start our next journey in a few more months in a few more months and one thing for sure is that sports will be staying consistent if you want to see more videos like this one hit the like and subscribe button